Hey everyone, good morning. Today is July 18th, it's Monday. I just ran out this morning and got a little bit of groceries. Almond milk, some strawberries and blueberries, some prepared mustard, and some turkey breast, deli turkey breast. And then I also got my Starbucks drink. It is a grande iced coffee with two shots skinny mocha and one inch of soy milk. So the soy milk actually sweetens the coffee. And it's the same calories as milk, so it just has less protein and more sugar, I'm assuming. And then I'm drinking my bottled water this morning. And damn it, I forgot to weigh in again. No. Okay, here's an omelet pro tip. You just kind of lift the sides and you just like pour the egg under. I tilted the pan and poured the egg over there. So then most of this now is cooked on top and all the liquid goes to the side. So then you would do that like on the other side. It just cooks it faster what, so that it won't get burnt while the rest of this cooks. And then it just makes the omelet stronger so that you can flip it without it scrambling. Along with red pepper and spinach. Obviously, it's a messier omelet than usual, but oh well. Still flips well. That flap got stuck, so it's like a double flap. Throw a cover over that so that the ingredients inside can cook while it's on a low heat. All right, so finished breakfast. Looks so yummy, my oats. All right, so I got a shower and I got ready, and now I'm going to go to the gym. I'm gonna train with my friend she actually did my hair her name's charlotte she did an amazing job we're gonna go train legs i got my protein and my like weird gross water bottle <laughs> all right guys so i'm at the gym and i'm training at a new gym today i've never been to global uh charlotte highly recommended it she said it was a lot better than the good life every gym is better than good life in my opinion there's a lot of men there there's hardly any women so i find that i really just it's kind it's I did they I just get stared at all the time it's a little bit uncomfortable especially if I forget my headphones so um yeah I'm really excited to try out this new gym I'm gonna train legs I am super excited for this workout so I can't wait to show you guys okay bye we have to go down there and then we have outside we have giant tires you can flip staying in Kelowna right oh wow yeah it's like a powerlifting section yeah this will come in handy Most of this is like the upper part. body, like the not the cable. And oh, like you the, mean um, camera yes, strength? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then there's more like that. Guy. More leg stuff. More squat. Guy. Cement balls. Is that for like strongman strong stuff? Strong stuff. Yeah. Squat pushes. Oh, okay. And then these are our outdoor fitness boards and our tires. That you can mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is actually this also is limited where I lived before. Oh. So I don't think I got this on camera before, but I basically squealed when I saw all of this uh, leg equipment. So three different types of leg presses and, oh, another leg press, yeah, three leg presses and two hack squats. There's Charlotte. <laughs> basically, I love it and I'm really happy right now. Oh, this is what heaven looks like. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I wanted to record a voiceover for this video. Um, this workout was in Kelowna before I left for the East Coast tour. Um, I'm planning on doing a double upload, so look out for the next video and then put up the New York video because I really need to get those up. I really need to get them done. Um, so first off, we started with the squat press. I really like how it has a pendulum action. So basically, um, it, it's like a more natural glute movement I found it's like similar to doing a pendulum kickback um so here's kind of this is like a straight pushback um for the glutes but um the yeah like like doing a glute cable glute kickback is really similar to doing that squat press so I really like it so we started with that then we moved on to um a super set just to get our glutes activated with this glute kickback and then um, this is a really poverty clip but um a reverse hack squat just really lightweight um they were kind of our activation exercises and then after that we moved into doing some back squats um so she as you can see charlotte is like insane strong like it's crazy um 
yeah <laughs> so she's here like repping 155 I think like how I would rep like 115 so she's super strong um she doesn't have she has never formally done powerlifting. She's more into hypertrophy, so, um, but she does love strength training, so it would be really cool for her to do a powerlifting meet in the future. I think she could do really well. This is like a high bar squat, um, but yeah, she's really glute dominant, as you can tell with her squat too. So, um, And then here's me, like team long femurs. Um, and then I kind of, what I've been liking to do with squats lately is just do a pyramid almost like a pyramid set. Well, I pyramid up in weight, so I'll start with um, a lower weight and kind of just work up. So I do like multiple warm-ups into working sets until I get to kind of like a really challenging set, and then I'll either keep it the same and reduce the reps, or I'll bump the weight back a little bit. And this is like a good auto-regulation technique just so that you ensure that you're challenging yourself on each day, um, but you're not necessarily improving day to day, just overall you'll be improving. So um, that way, if you're not feeling as good on one day, um, you don't have to have, you don't have to feel the pressure to like, um, PR every single time. So, um, this kind of auto regulation is really good for intermediate level to advanced level trainees who, um, have a really good sense of RPE and, um, know their body pretty well. Um, not something I would usually set up people who are just brand new to lifting or new to strength training or, um, anything like that where they don't have a good judge of their RP. So Charlotte here just hit a since prep PR um, and it was I think it was 225 for two so like she's hit heavier than that before but not since her last prep so it was pretty cool. So then I really wanted to hit a PR so I did I think this was 165 for two which is like the heaviest I've gone in a really long time. I remember 165 would have been like a second attempt on like one of my meets so that was pretty good I was really happy with that um so my strength is still there even without like squat shoes and knee sleeves and everything so I've definitely um gotten stronger since my last year of hypertrophy training so I know if I ever did switch back to powerlifting I could just like really easily uh get the strength back um I know that my technique is still there because uh, I hammered it in over the years that I did powerlifting um, so next we moved on to, uh, split squats, as you can see, and I haven't done these in forever and they're kind of uncomfortable for me, not going to lie. So I try, I don't really do exercises that are more uncomfortable for me, but, um, Charlotte kind of showed me how she does them and I really liked it. She takes like a water stance, uh, uses a bench and then she holds on to something for support. So I highly recommend that. And then just hold the dumbbell in one arm so that you can maintain that balance. And you obviously just want to avoid pressing too hard with the other hand. It's just kind of more for balance. So yeah. Um, what else? So, oh yeah, we moved on to leg extensions. So I wanted more of a glute ham workout because I did quads like the last time where I included more quad dominant uh, exercises. Uh, but Charlotte is bring, trying to bring up her quads because she's more glute ham dominant. So we added in some leg extensions at the end. Like I said, um, I am trying to bring up my quads again now. So whereas I wouldn't, I haven't done leg extensions in like probably a year and a half. Um, but I'm really liking them and it's crazy. Like you don't quite get a the same burn as you would doing leg extensions on a machine like it's like nothing else it's painful um, but in a good way so yeah this was fun we did uh straight sets of 20 and then we did uh the last one we did a drop set so it was yeah <laughs> it was hard and yeah so right now just to give a life update I am at Emily's house and I'm finally here and I just had like the worst traveling mishaps of life um yeah, basically, I um, I was supposed to get here like four days ago or like I was supposed to have, think, like eight days, but I only ended up having like three actual days, which really, really sucks. Like, I'll, I think I'm going to do a post on Instagram once I get my phone because, by the way, so we are dead after the leg extensions, but my glutes weren't quite dead yet, so we were supposed to be done but I'm forcing us to do the kickbacks. <laughs> we'll see how well Charlotte does because she tripped like three times already. <laughs> I didn't have a phone for the like entire time. But anyways, that's gonna end this voiceover. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps me bring this traffic to YouTube and everything. Okay, bye guys. I feel really, really good right now. Charlotte is so knowledgeable and she has a really great coach. And it was just an awesome workout.
was good. I'll definitely train with her again. Um, I just love it when you meet people and you just click instantly. Like, that is my shit. In proper vlogger style. <laughs> Ooh. Too. So it's now 8 54 p.m. and I have not eaten anything since breakfast except for a protein shake that I have af had after the gym and like a few bites of that froyo. So I need to get something to eat. On a positive note, I really like the new Gymshark little sockies. They're comfy. Yes, we gonna order some sushi. I'm not sure if I, ordering sushi is a good idea because I know it's gonna be super high sodium. I forgot to weigh this morning and the morning before, so I'm never gonna know my way in. I got the sushi. They're both really, really good and I can't. In the interest of my weigh in tomorrow, I'm opting to use low sodium soy sauce. Last meal before bed is some peach and some strawberries and lactose free cottage cheese. Whatever is left in this container, so I need to get some protein. Hey everyone, so I want to introduce a program that I just released, Intensive Max Glute Hypertrophy. It's the same one that Emily is running right now, so if you saw her um, post about it, then that's this program. Um, hers is obviously going to be more customized to her, but um, this program is a generic kind of version. So um, I'm really excited to, that I released this finally. People have been asking for it for a long time. Um, so if you are interested, uh, you can just click and follow the link. Um, the link is uh, down below in the description um, and you can purchase it through my website. Uh, and all the details are kind of listed on the website here so you can give that a read through. And if you absolutely need to and you have any questions after purchase, you can email me. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm super excited about this program. Um, it's one that I've been running for myself the past year and every single client that has had goals of bringing up their glutes has run through this program with me, some for up to 12 weeks um, with adjustments as needed. So basically the cumulative results over the last year with my clients and with myself have just spoken volumes about the program. Here's Emily's progress in the past eight weeks, insane, hey? And then here's her, um, and then here's kind of my full glute progress over the years. And then this is just a few months after starting the program. The program is kind of a means for me to share my knowledge with you guys, provide you with something that you can one click buy um, so that you don't have to pay a lot of money for coaching because I know my coaching is expensive and plus all my spots are full. Um, so it's a way for, for me to share something with you guys and then also for you guys to support me as well. So if you enjoy the content that I put out here for free, um, you get something in return and um, it helps support me so that I can spend more time on YouTube rather than on coaching. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it.